vegetables. Yesterday we read about about the country mouse and the town mouse. But today we're going to read the hare and the tortoise. Here they are. Okay, let's start. Hare was the most boastful animal in the whole forest. On this fine sunny morning, he was trotting down the forest path, uh, forest path singing. I'm the handsome and clever and the fastest hare ever. There is no one as splendid as me. Hedgehog, Mouse and Squirrel watched him f uh, from the fallen log. Hair is so annoying, said the Hedgehog. Someone should find a way to stop him. Boasting all the time. I'll get him to stop, said Squirrel, and he jumped onto the path right in front of Hare. I'm as handsome as you are, Hare, he said. Look at my big bushy tail. It's not as handsome as my fluffy white tail and my long silky ears, boasted Hare. Well, I'm as clever as you are, said Mouse, hurrying out to join them. I can dig holes under trees and store enough nuts and seeds to last all winter. There's nothing, said Hare. In winter, I can change my coat to white so that I can hide in the snow. Now, there, is there anyone who thinks they can run as fast as me? said Hare to the animals who all gathered round. Who wants a race? No one answered anything. All the animals knew that Hare was, Hare was very fast and no one thought they could beat him. Hare! exclaimed Hare. That proves it. I'm the handsomest, the cleverest, and the fastest. Excuse me, said a small voice. Yes, said Hare, turning around. I will race you, said Tortoise. You, said Hare in amazement. This looks the clumsiest animal. Yes, said the toy toys quietly. I will race you. The other animals gasped and hair roared with the laughter. Will you race me to the willow tree? Hair asked toy toys. Yes. Will you race past the willow tree to the stream? Asked her. Yes, I will, said Tortoise. Will you race past the willow tree, past the stream, and all the way to the old oak tree? Asked her. Of course I will, said Tortoise. Fine, said her. We'll start at nine o'clock in the morning. We'll meet right here at the big oak tree. All right, said Tortoise. The other animals ran off to tell their friends the news. The next morning, the forest was buzzing with excitement. Everyone had turned out to watch the big race. Some were at the starting line to, uh, and Others were going to the finish to see who would get there first. And Magpie called, Ready, steady, go! And Tortoise and Hare were off. Hare shot past Tortoise and the crowds. And when uh, there was no one to show off for, he slowed down just a bit. 
he reached the willow tree and looked behind him. Tortoise was not in sight. It would just take him ages just to catch me. He thought, I don't need to hurry. I may as well uh, stop and rest. He sat down under the willow tree and closed his eyes. In minutes, he was fast asleep. Meanwhile, Tortoise just pulled it on. He didn't try to go faster than he could, but didn't stop either. He just kept going one foot in front of the other and, and on and on. The sun climbed higher in the sky and Tortoise felt hot, but he still kept going. His stubby legs were beginning to ache, but he knew he mustn't stop. He just kept snoring under the willow tree. Sometime later, Tortoise reached her, who was still fast asleep. First of all, Tortoise thought he should wake her up. Then he changed his mind. Her is very clever, he told himself. He must have a reason for sleeping. He would only be cross if I woke him. So Tortoise, so Tortoise left her sleeping under the tree and went on his way. One foot in front of the other, walking slowly towards the finish line. Later, that afternoon, the sun began to sink in the air, and the air grew chilly. Hare awoke with the start. The race, he thought. I have to finish the race. He looked around to, uh, to see if Toy Toys was nearby. There was no sign of him. Ha, said Hare. He still hasn't caught up with me. No need to hurry then. And he trotted towards the clearing with a big grin on his face. When he neared the finish, Hare could hear cheers and clapping. They must be able to see me coming, he thought. But as he got closer, he saw the real reason for all the noise, and his heart sank. There was Tortoise crossing the line. Tortoise has won! The animals were cheering wildly. As Hare crept up to the finishing line, the cheers turned into laughter. His ears turned bright red and drooped with embarrassment. Hare mopped off. And everyone gathered round to congratulate Tortoise, who looked shy but very proud. He had proved that slow but steady always wins the race. The animals smiled at one another. Somehow they knew that they won't have to listen to Hare's loud annoying boasting anymore. The end. Thank you for watching, guys. It was a very, a very good to read with you. Please subscribe to channel Mira TV and put on the like. Thank you. Bye.